Tributes for former President George Maxwell Richards continued to pour in, this time in the House of Representatives. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said he knew Professor Richards since his days working at the University of the West Indies St. Augustine campus. Richards was such a normal man that he is better known as Max, a term of endearment that encapsulates how people saw him, even though he was professor, he was president. He offered himself into public life and was accepted. And eventually, Madam Speaker, he was selected, much to the benefit of the national community, as our president of this republic, and served two terms, trying to guide us along the pathway. Opposition leader Kamala Pissad Bissessa said the former president was a strong advocate for increased participation by women in leadership roles. In an interview in 2008, he indicated that he would support a woman president. He said at that time, and I quote, the genetic makeup of women makes them better politicians. They tend to be less confrontational, more inclined to look for solutions. As we are just days away from the election of our nation's sixth president, and it is interesting, it's on the very day that we signed the nomination form, co-signed the nomination form, it's that day that the president passed away. But given his sentiments, just days away from the election of our sixth president, I think he would have been pleased to see the election of a woman to this country's highest office, that of the president. Speaker of the House Bridget Anna said George also joined with the Prime Minister and Opposition Leader in paying tribute to the fourth president to save Trinidad and Tobago. Honorable members, today we remember Professor Richards not only as our fourth president of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, but as a father, husband, brother, colleague, friend, mentor, and servant of our twin island republic. 